Oh, I'd like to start today by saying hello to all my subscribers. It's lovely how people are joining me here. So I thought I'd come on and see if I can come on more often and maybe not make my videos quite so long. So uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about what I've been doing lately. I'll show, some, if I can, I'll add some pictures at the end and show you uh, what, what I've been doing. I've, I've made a jacket, look. It's, it's um, got faces on. Um, on this side, there's another face on this side, look, and one on the back. On this side, um, oh, some years ago, when I first learned how to do freeform, and not everybody's heard of freeform, would you believe? I thought most people had, but I, it, it's coming about quite regularly that, that people haven't heard of freeform crochet. Do look it up if you haven't, because it's such a fun thing to do. And uh, this is freeform crochet, look. I joined uh, a class of Myra Wood a few a few years ago, and um, and I learned how to do this uh, very fancy freeform style, free style of um, of doing crochet. Okay, it's very colourful, often very colourful, and it started in the seventies. So um, yeah, I I learned how to do that, and uh, going on from there. I wanted to talk a little bit about my book. I said on that on that uh, jacket that I made, there's a face like something similar to this, and this is only done with two stitches. And the only way I came across doing it, um, I thought this can be so easy for beginners to do, and uh, I I designed quite a method called the two. The bridges method which is just chain and slip stitch basically and um, so I've, I've written this book see the picture of there is on the book look and so I've written this book which is called how to make a face using two stitches and uh, if you're interested in that do do go along onto Amazon um, it's 5 99 and uh, you can have a look and see if you can have a go at doing that um, if you're doing this with a child there's several stages to it you first of all you start with um, a bracelet and learn how to make um, just two, two rows and then you can add more rows and then reduce the size of the bridges so that you've got a fabric that you can use and, and in the process a child can make a, a headband so that's that's what's in this book and it's good for mums and, and their children maybe a party a party thing to do uh, making just just the first bracelet in there um i, I talk about bracelets because i i have a youtube channel <laughs> i should say that because you're watching it so you know that <laughs> so yeah okay the, on my youtube channel here you'll be able to find uh, lots of learning bracelets and how to do a uh, latch hook crochet with using using a latch hook so and um, this is my first book this one's called Lateral Crochet for Beginners and that came out in 2019 and uh, people have started to buy that. I've got quite a few reviews for that. I think I've got 17 reviews for that on on um, Amazon now. So if you're interested in it, if you want to teach it in your school, there's some lovely easy things for children to do. Uh, or even if you're just a beginner, adult beginner, you might find something in there that's, that's easy for you to do. Instead of doing the usual straight edges and making and learning traditional stitches I start with making flowers and I start with making um, brooches and bracelets and things like that and I call them learning bracelets so uh, it's a great it's a, it's a good way well I think it's a good way to start and I'm hoping to get it into schools there's one or two schools doing it now and um, hopefully more will if you're a teacher please do get in touch if you're a teacher because I can help you get this started in your school um, so a shout out today is if you've got either of these books, um, Latch Hook Crochet for Beginners by Rosalind Hill, that's me, Rosalind Hill, and How to Make a Face Using Two Stitches. Please, if you have these books already, please, 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 can you go online and give us a review because reviews are so helpful, not just for me, for the people that say it's helpful for them to know whether or not it's what they want to buy. So, um yeah that's that's that um i'm going to finish off just with a, a short thing I, I usually come on and do whip wednesdays tea, tea cake tuesdays I, i'm 
I oh, can't do tea cake Tuesdays at the moment. That happens in my little caravan, which is completely covered up for the winter so that it keeps it nice and dry. And it was getting a little bit damp in there, so I had to do something about it and put a cover over my crochet caravan. But um, yeah, I've, I bought this book for myself. It, it's crocheted socks. I don't know whether you, if, let me know if you've ever made any, any socks before. I've never done it before and I've always wanted to make a pair of socks. Crazy maybe, but I thought if I have a go and do see if I can follow one of these patterns, I might be able to make a, a an easy pattern for making socks. They're a little bit tricky because of course you've got to do the fiddly bits around the heel and the toe. So uh, that's going to be a new experience for me. So on that note, I'm going to... Uh, finish off this video and see if I can add one or two pictures to it too showing you in my new um my new jacket I call it a jacket it's it's like a waistcoat really so uh, thanks for watching and if you have watched this please press the subscribe button and I think there's a bell there something where you can you can you can um, you can press a bell I'm not quite sure what that does but I know the subscribe means that you can come back on and whenever I put a video on like this, you'll be able to get notification of it. So please subscribe, press that button. Um, it's, um, it's a circle of hearts. OK, that's my logo. So if you press on the circle of hearts, um, that will get you onto my uh, onto my channel. Bye for now.